Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. In the last episode, we spent a fair bit of time down here in Patterson, and I did a little bit of upgrades afterwards. I built this up all as large street, and built the, whatever this is, truck station here, just to provide some coverage to the buildings in here because reasons this is all industrial and commercial and we're going to need it because this wasn't obviously enough and so yeah about that we have all our residential here which is covered mostly by that we also have that and uh, we have a couple bus stations this comes around like that but what I would like to do and yeah we built this monstrosity here. <laughs> rail over rail, road under road, road under rail. And uh, yeah, so I kind of want to extend this up to Toledo. On the other hand, I kind of want to extend off in this direction. We built a harbor here. And what I might want to do, I don't really need to, but We'll put down this ship dock and I can build it in. Uh, we are going to actually throw this, say, right here. Dock outside navigable waters. Actually, that will look not that bad. So we'll put that there for future use. So I'm debating either to go up to Toledo or Gilbert. There's going to be a lot involved. There's of course going to be a lot involved because we have the entire map. And we didn't spend much time off pause. I wouldn't like to go in this direction because we have Cape Coral, Waco and Toledo. But... Hmm... We can also go up to Palm Bay. It's a possibility. But I think... We already have this in. We might as well connect up the steel. And what's this need? Steel and steel and plastics. This is not a good use of planks, whatever you do. Go with steel, go with plastics. It'll all work out in the end. We have plastics right over here. Or no, over here. Plus we have plastics up here, but not really any way to get down. Or no, it's over here. And I really don't want to dilute that production there. We also have, actually no, we have plastics right here. Forgot about that. So if we were to bring over oil or fuel, say like fuel, not fuel. <laughs> if we bring oil over to here, as well as fuel for Gilbert, that's an option. Plenty of options. We actually have the machine factory here. One there, wow. Okay, so I need to bring the fuel from here over to here and then here, here, and there. That's a possibility. But no, we'll first get a few lines connected up and here we are going to go with a freight station. And now I kind of want to have, we'll go no second street connection, at least four platforms. And if we go like that. Yep, yeah, we'll do that. Machine factory there, we have the iron ore here, we have also planks there. Is there goods around here? No, there's not. One option we can do is bring grain from here to here, but the only problem is it takes two grains in order to produce one plastics. Although it is a convenient option. Is there any food production over here? Right here. So that to there supplies semi Valley and Downey possibility. 
Now, do I want to? Yeah, I probably will. But first, we're actually going to small country road. How far? Oh, that's an option. Uh, no. Now, I'm not going to want to have this too far just because reasons. And then I can truck the goods in. We are going to go with a second street connection. Actually, we are going to push this back a little bit more. And we are going to destroy that. And now, before we place this down, I'm going to want to... No, oh, that's going to be a tight squeeze. So this is machines. Probably going to want to have steel. Actually, I'd probably just truck the steel in. And then just plastics, truck it in. Although, then we'll need to haul them away. Hmm. I probably won't actually set up in this case. I'd probably just use a truck freight. If I bring the plastics from here and the steel from here, I don't need anything else. Now, with that said, if I were to set up this over here, so I can bring the fuel, or rather, crude oil into here. Oil into here, not crude oil. Or I can bring this into here and then just truck back over. <laughs> um, so many options, so many options. So steel and plastics, I can get steel very close by, so that's not gonna be an issue. Pointless to truck, train it in. Train has to get loaded, then the train has to get going, has to stop, unload. It's better off, you'd probably do it with just the uh, truck, so. Now, question is, do I wanna send, not really. Now first, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna skip that for now. We're going to put down the harbor and we're going to put it here. So navigable waters. And for this, I might. I'll actually probably just have a line running from there to here to here. But we'll go with two terminals. This is the problem with harbors. <laughs> Outside navigable waters. Here's a question. Will a boat actually be able to get past? I doubt it. This is why I don't really use boats. Nope, we're going to go down to one terminal. Throw it there. And now we will connect this up to here. And we're just going to take that out. And two buildings will be removed. Only one building will be removed. Here's a 
question, can I? No, I can't, with it blowing that up as well. Alright, about that. Connect that up like that. Now, if I were to bring rail traffic in, I was going to bring, actually no, rail traffic this way, and rail traffic this way. Question is, passengers are all on this side. What I'll probably do, is I'll probably do like I did last time I did this. Now, am I going to want to have more than one line? Riverside Gilbert to Patterson. I'm not going to want to connect up to... So, no. We are going to go with a two tracks, no street connection. And I think I'm going to just go with 320. We're going to put this over here because I'm going to be bridging over and I might do second street connection and somewhere around here that's relatively flat well kind of We'll do that there. And that's a freight station. Bother. Uh, please put it in. And now what I'm going to want to do is bridge over. reasons. Now, uh, steel bridge. That is navigable. I do this. That'll work. And heading off to Riverside. Perfect. And we'll connect it up like that. Double track it because reasons. All right, that is going to be our passenger line over to Gilbert. We have ship line. We have a bridge that we can send boats under. That's good. And now I'm not going to extend past it that way, but I want to get that in. And now, this question, shall I use this and truck the freight in? In a test run of this, I had a freight line coming in like this over to a freight station over here to supply this over here yeah, we're gonna do that large street connect this over to there Kind of nice is if medium street. This were to automatically connect like that. Uh, 136. Sure, we'll take it. We have 17.9 million dollars, and I haven't even unpaused the game. 
and no. I really hate this. No, no, please don't do that. Why are you doing that? Just, just have have this go. Have this go off straight. Kind of like that. Now we're gonna bring this. And over like that. I'll probably just bring this around like that and like that that is going to be Gilbert so now we want train station freight station and am I going to want freight to go in any other directions well from Patterson I'll have freight going up to Palm Bay in Downey over to Simi Valley no we're just going to go with two we're going to no to the second street connection and now I want this to run over to something like that Yep, that's good enough. Now we want truck freight. We're gonna go up to a large. And we are going to... Wow. Okay, about that. we do this without? Apparently not. Uh, apparently we can. That little bit can't be a large street because reasons. Because apparently it will upgrade this to a large street and keep the width but once it gets here because there's no building, it will try to widen it, which will cause this to... Yeah, bit that. It's a little bit annoying. Anyway, we are going to truck station. That actually gets more coverage. All right, hit that. I'm thinking I might just got, want to go with, wow, even less coverage. Throw it there. And I really don't like this from a future proofing perspective. Hmm. No, that won't be. That could be good. Right there. And I might as well go there as well. All right, so that is Gilbert covered. I will need to, of course, eventually add. Here's a question. Before I get going. Oh, that's right. I made that bridge. There, there. Any other bridges along the way? Nope. Okay, we're good. 
Now, what I'm going to want to do I'm going to put in a tram station and we can actually go up to electric trams if I want to. I might just do it. Anyway, we're going to squeeze this in. I don't plan to upgrade this, so it doesn't really matter if we get too close. Yeah, we'll go with electric trams for Gilbert. Now, large street. And what I would like to do Really? Let's build this out. to bring it down. Kind of. Yep, we'll do that. And then bring that in like that. Yeah, we'll do that. Not the best looking bridge. But it'll work. And now we just need to connect this up to this. And yeah. The small tree is good enough. Alright. So we have that connected. We can actually start running passenger services between Gilbert and Patterson. So that's a possibility. I have this set up. We have that set up. Once I have an actual line running over to Patterson, we can also run rail to Patterson to Gilbert. And so I might just, first of all, We are going to want to run this yeah that doesn't have any coverage hmm all right we are going to actually definitely put one here I think. Actually, we are going to want to have a large one. Because I will be running bus services. Most definitely. So we'll build that in right there. That covers that. We will build this here. We will provide some other coverage. Hmm. Maybe I should have gone here. And there. Now I'm going to also need to upgrade the roads with electric tram track. Yeah, about that. So we are going to do. Oh, seriously. 
that. Oh, bother. Yeah, we might as well connect that up. Construction not possible. Really? Let's just do a road, split that off. Put your tram track like that. To there, to there. All right. Bit that. Now we are going to need tram depot. Might as well connect it over to here. Right there. And we are going to buy some trams. We can either go with the horse tram, horse trolley car, or the San Diego electric trolley. Seven capacity. 25 kilometer hour top speed, 8 weight, 35 kilowatts of power, tractive effort of 10 kilonewtons, running cost is 6.15 per year. We're going to buy one, we are going to set new line, we are going to go from here, over to here, over to here, over to here. And then we are going to do the same thing. We're going to buy a second one, new line from here to here, to here, to here. And this is going to be that. This is going to be that. And then this is going to be bus tram. Yeah, Gilbert tram RT1. And I might as well get passenger service connected with ships. Now we have several options. We have the Klondike, which is freight. We have the Wilhelm one, which is also freight. Vandal, which is a tanker. Same thing with the Zoroaster. We have the Frontenac and the Riggy, which are passenger ships. Go either go 50 capacity or 75 capacity 22 to 26 kilometer an hour top speed and almost double running costs plus almost double for now we're just going to put one riggy on we're going to set line new line from here over to here and nice so they come right in pull right out and then this is going to be SP uh, I would call it Patterson to Gilbert we're going to rename this to Gilbert Docks. And we are going to name this Patterson Docks. There we go. And so let's check out the ship as it's leaving. All right, at this point, I'm going to take a break here, and we will continue off with more Transport Fever Sandbox Edition in the next episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott Frisbee Gaming, and as always, have a good day.